So in this video, I want to introduce you guys to conditional statements. And what conditional statements allow you to do is actually check your data against certain conditions and it spits back a response based on the comparison that that data made against something, um, usually other data. Now, I know that what I'm saying right now is probably going right over your head um, and we are going to build a program that kind of uh, explains this um, and will make sense of what I'm saying right now. So let's do that by going into our Learn Ruby directory. Press tab there to fill out the rest of the directory name. And let's go into, let's actually create a new file. We'll call it touch ruby conditionals.rb and press enter. Then we go into Sublime, and we have our first program, but now we have this new file here, Ruby Conditionals. And so let's say, let's create a program that compares the ages of two people. Um, so in this case, I'm the oldest brother in my family. I'm gonna compare the age of me and my middle, middle brother. So let's say puts is Jack older than Kevin. And then let's say puts what is Jack's age. And then we'll set a variable, Jack equal to gets.chomp. So we're gonna accept user input for Jack. So when um, our program starts to execute, it will stop here, ask us, and we'll be prompted to enter some input, and then we will have the program continue on, and it will say, what is Kevin's age? And we'll set a variable Kevin equal to gets.chomp. And now that we have these two pieces of data that are going to contain some value, we are going to compare them. So let's say if Jack is greater than or is less than Kevin, then do something. So if this condition is true, do this. Puts Kevin is older than Jack. Else if Jack is older than Kevin, puts Jack is older than Kevin. So, first condition if Jack is um, less than Kevin puts Kevin is older than Jack. This condition isn't met. Let's go to the next condition. Else if Jack is greater than Kevin puts Jack is older than Kevin. And then we can say else puts they are the same age. And then we end that condition. So this last else here says, if neither of these conditions are true, then do this. So if this puts that, if this puts that, if none of these conditions put this, and then end the conditional statement and continue on to whatever other um, you know, whatever other uh, statements might be in here. So if we had puts, that's it. After the condition, then it runs this puts, that's it. Um, but we don't really need to include that in this program. So let's run this. And we go over to terminal. And we run Ruby. Um, what is it, Ruby Conditionals? Ruby Conditionals. Oh. 
top of it. Spell. Dot RB. What is Jack's age? He is 26. What is Kevin's age? Kevin is 25. Jack is older than Kevin. Now let's see what would have happened if we put Jack as being younger than Kevin. Kevin is older than Jack because that is the condition that is now met. Now let's do a scenario where neither of those conditions are met. So Jack's 25 and Kevin's 25. So because Jack is neither because Jack is neither less than Kevin nor Jack is greater than Kevin, we then put that to the page. So those are conditional statements. It compares data and makes a decision on what to do if specific conditions are met. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.